Hey there everyone, coming to you with another product review. This time I'm talking about the Hans Grohe 0444-8820 S-E Trim Pressure Balance with Diverter in brushed nickel. Now, you should know that this trim will not work with any other valve system other than the Hans Grohe uh, iBox. You absolutely have to have that. I have another quick video uh, with that illustrating the, uh, the iBox or at least how it works here. And you, you absolutely have to have that. It's not inexpensive. This is not an inexpensive setup, but we absolutely love it. Um, it's hard to get out of the shower now because it allows us to use both a rain shower and uh, one on the wall either both or one or the other. Um, it has about 6.5 gallons per minute flow, which is great. And it comes out at about 45, 44, 45 uh, PSI, which is um, fantastic. You'll notice that the way this is set up, it, it doesn't pull out. It doesn't pull out. It, you turn it on by turning it counterclockwise and the farther you turn it counterclockwise the warmer the temperature gets. This is a diverter. We got the two diverter system. I think they make one that's also three but you can go um, with whatever your first element is. For us it's the rain shower. You can do both which is the rain shower and the wall thingamadoo, whatever you call that. And the third is just the wall. And it doesn't really click in an audible sense, but you can feel it. So there's a, you, you feel the resistance when it's in, in place. I'll illustrate how this works. One thing I do want to pull, point out, you'll see that there's a little hole here and here. Um, when our plumber sent this up, we noticed that it didn't quite get as warm as we would have liked. And so this was just a quick adjustment. There's an Allen wrench, took an Allen wrench, adjusted this, this came right off. And inside there is a, a regulator or a stop that you can adjust. So if you want it hotter, you can do that. I think for safety reasons, they have it set at a, you know, 100, 110 degrees or something like that. But if you like 120 degree showers, then um, you'll want to make that adjustment. Okay, that said, let's see it in action. I will start out with, oh, we'll start out with the rain shower. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Whoop, uh, never mind. We're gonna start out with the, with the wall shower. Oh, turn this all the way on here. Now this is both. So you'll see, we do both of these at the same time. And by turning it, to that last position, I'm just using the rain shower. And if I if that's too hot, then I would just adjust, adjust it down a little bit. And then when my, my shower is done, I'm going to shut it off. And that's that. Thanks so much for watching.